Well, hello there, my friends. Thanks for coming to WXEdge.com. I'm meteorologist Sam Cantrell with an update on the technical forecast discussion. Okay, we're kind of just in the edge of a wedge of high pressure that's going to actually help keep us dry and keep most, if not all, of any rain that we could potentially see to either the uh, west or the east or the south of us. Here's the deal with the hour by hour forecast though. Today we'll feature a lot of clouds and it picks up on a sprinkle or two. I think these are just thicker clouds this afternoon that'll be here. It'll be tough to see much sunshine for the day today, unfortunately. You could see way north of us and it's right on top of the banner that you see right there where it says hour by hour. Notice how it looks much more clear up there. Yeah, it is definitely going to be more clear further north because high pressure is influencing their weather much more than ours. You see the forecast though for uh, overnight tonight and tomorrow morning. So close we are to the showers and here's a, a closer perspective of that. Will we see any rain tomorrow morning? There are showers that are so close to Connecticut that southeastern spots may just get brushed by with a quick shower at some point tomorrow. I do think we might just get stuck with mostly cloudy skies and if the high is just a little bit stronger then that'll obviously give us drier weather. As the day moves on though the high pressure that's up to the north will start to move south south. That will give us increasing sunshine through the afternoon tomorrow, but not going to be too warm today. And uh, the good thing is it's not really going to be very humid the next couple of days either. High and dry, that's what will be all the way through Wednesday. The temps get warmer and on Tuesday, that's when the humidity comes back. Those dew points get back to the low 70s, so it's going to feel oppressive outside, unfortunately. It's the middle of the summer. This is what you get. And the next uh, rain comes in the form of a front that comes through either Wednesday or Thursday, most likely to move through on Thursday where we could see some showers then before good weather returns by the time we head towards next weekend. For the forecast numbers, you can go to WTNH.com. I'm your all the same cancer. Have a great day, everybody.